Okay, Dr. Mindy here. On this video, let's talk about hair loss. There are two reasons for it, and I explain those reasons in this video. I know a lot of you guys are having hair loss as you move into this fasting lifestyle, and there's a reason for it, and I'm gonna explain that reason on this video. Okay, let's talk about hair loss and fasting because we get this question a lot, which is, will fasting cause you to lose your hair? And I really want to help you think a little deeper and understand that if you are losing your hair while you're fasting, there is a deeper reason for it because not everybody loses their hair when they fast. So why is your body releasing hair as you're fasting? So let's start with this idea. What does your hair need to be healthy? And there are some very uh, specific things that you need, like vitamin A, vitamin B, C, D, E. Those vitamins, you need to have plenty of those. So if you're not taking a good multivitamin, I would encourage you to be taking a good multivitamin. Um, the other thing we know is that in order for your hair to grow, big and luscious and have lots of it, you need a lot of minerals. And I think that minerals are actually more important even than vitamins. And the key minerals that you need for hair loss are zinc, iron, and selenium, okay? So now, let's answer the question, why do you lose your hair when you fast? So one of the things we know right now, and you guys have heard me say this before on this video, is that we live in the most toxic time in human history. And those toxins are often in our soils. And our soils not only are depleted of microbes and good bacteria, but our soils are very deficient in nutrients and especially minerals. So if you're, in, if you're eating a diet that is rich in plants and vegetables, and, but they're coming from soils that are depleted of minerals, you may not be getting enough vitamins and minerals. So you may have go into the fast already depleted, and then you start fasting and boom, the, your hair falls out. So if that's you, if you're like the person that you're like, I eat a ton of vegetables, I eat a ton of fruit, you may either wanna like look at, get to know your farmer is what I always say, go to a farmer's market, help understand, help inform yourself a little more about what's in the soils of the vegetables that are, you are you're eating, where you're, that are being grown. Um, the other thing is if you're the person that's eating a lot of plants and vegetables before you go into a fast and you're losing your hair um, and you don't know what your soils are, it may be something as simple as taking a mineral supplement or a, um, vet, uh, a nutrient supplement like a multivitamin before you go into the fast. Like mega dose, pull, bring your minerals and your, your uh, nutrients up to a higher level prior to going into the fast. Because once you're in the fast, you're not getting vitamins, you're not getting minerals. So if you already have a weakness, it's gonna reveal itself. So try bringing up your nutrient level pre-fast. Now, if you're like one of those per people that you're like, I don't, I, I know I don't eat enough vegetables, and you go into a fast and your hair starts falling out, then you, I mean, you don't even have to, to know, you can pretty much guess that you're gonna need to take a good multivitamin before you go into the fast. So step one, take a good multi, take a good mineral supplement. This is personally my favorite is Min, is the one that we recommend to our patients. Um, so if you love fasting, you're excited about what it's doing for you, uh, but you don't want your hair to fall out, try doing vitamins and minerals. Okay, second thing, and this is really crucial. I wanna make sure you go back and you watch the video that I did on what autophagy is actually detoxing. So when we go into a fasted state, we stimulate autophagy. And autophagy is the intelligence of the cells. And what autophagy will do is it will start to initiate a repair process. Sometimes the intelligence of your cells figures out that this cell is really messed up. There's, a, there's so much toxicity going on in here that we're gonna go ahead and just kill the cell. And when it kills the cell, the cell will biodegrade into the body, but the, it, then environmental toxins like heavy metals get released into your system. Now, here's what's interesting about heavy metals is heavy metals will sit in receptor sites for minerals. So we see this all the time in my clinic where people are not even fasting and they're losing hair 
and they have really high toxic metal loads. So if you're doing a lot of fasting, you know you've been taking a lot of great minerals, you know you're taking a great supplement and you're still losing hair, there's a very good chance that a heavy metal load is revealing itself to you. That apoptosis is what it's called and it's the destruction of the cell. Autophagy stimulated the cell death and out of that heavy metals appeared. And when the heavy metals appeared, they went into receptor sites and when they went into receptor sites, now you're not even getting the minerals into those receptor sites to grow hair. So if this is a chronic problem, this is happening to you over and over again, you wanna make sure that you check your heavy metal load. But don't give up on fasting, because fasting's not the culprit causing your, metal, your hair to fall out. It's an underlying cause, and most likely, likely it's a mineral deficiency, potentially it's a, a, a vitamin deficiency or a nutrient deficiency, and more long-term picture, your body may have just given you the gift of revealing that you have a heavy metal toxicity. It, it could literally be that simple. So remember that fasting is a healing process. And so when you go into these fasted states, especially three and five day water fast, but even with intermittent fasting, your body is going to heal at faster and faster rates. And sometimes healing can look like the body giving you answers, like your hair falling out. And it's saying, hey, there's a mineral deficiency here. There's a heavy metal load that needs to be addressed. So I want to clue you in so that you're reading those and you're able to give your body what it needs. So hair loss, don't give up on fasting make sure you're bringing up your minerals make sure you're bringing up your nutrients check your heavy metals so as always hope that helps <laughs>